Japan is facing a population crisis. Their premier issued a dire warning recently. He said the country is on the brink of not being able to maintain social function. And while Japan is looking for solutions, one suggestion has triggered a storm. Mass suicide for the old. This is courtesy a professor at Yale. He said old people in Japan should just kill themselves. His remark has drawn a lot of backlash. But guess what? It has also won him an audience. Apparently, this was done in Japan in the past. But can it even be considered in a modern society? The professor has an explanation for what he said, and critics fear he may end up influencing policy decisions. Here's a report. Japan has a new wrinkle. Along with its fertility crisis, it faces an aging crisis too. A Yale professor has presented an unorthodox solution. He suggests mass suicide or seppuku of the elderly. Seppuku refers to a ritual disembowelment. It can be both obligatory or forced. Samurai did it to themselves until the 19th century in Japan. The population is experiencing sort of rapid aging. Then unless we do something, then, then, then the country and the economy. The solution sounds a bit harsh. As you can imagine, his remark has sparked outrage. Yusuke Narita is an assistant professor of economics at Yale. He made these remarks on a streaming news program in 2021. At the time, he said, it's the only solution and it's pretty clear. This year, he was asked to defend his views in class. To do so, he showed a clip from the 2019 horror film, Midsommar. In the movie, a cult forces an older member to jump off a cliff. Narita said it's difficult to say if this is a good thing, but if you think it's good, then work hard to create a society like that. But why are we talking about this now? It's because this week, the professor said he was taken out of context. He says he was discussing a growing effort to make room for the youth, though he still says euthanasia could become mandatory in the future. He says this would allow younger generations to come forward, whether in business, politics or arts as the older generation refuses to leave. And this surely does not help Japan, especially due to its fertility and aging crisis. It has one of the lowest birth rates in the world. Last year, it saw its population plunge by more than 600,000. It also has one of the highest life expectancies in the world. Last year's data makes the Japanese population the oldest in the world. Those over the age of 65 accounted for about 30% of the total. In 2020, nearly 1 in 1,500 people in Japan were aged 100 or older. Remember, Japan also has the most public debt in the first world. It has a shrinking workforce. Enough young people are not filling the gaps in its stagnating economy. But Japan is not the only country that's facing aging. The world is aging at a rapid rate. This is pushing us into a new era in human history. By 2030, 34 nations will have over 20% of their populations aged over 65. This will include Germany, Italy, Canada, France and the US. This could also explain why Narita's comments have not just invited backlash, but also won him an audience. He's viral on social media. He even spreads his message through comedy shows and energy drink ads. And he's not alone in sharing such opinions. In 2013, the country's finance minister said something similar. He suggested that old people should hurry up and die. Surveys note that the Japanese public supports voluntary euthanasia. We're told many fear he's rekindling views that have gained traction in Japan. Deference towards older generations is waning. The young are frustrated. They say they're being held back. So the Yale professor's remark may spark more than the social media debate. It could unduly sway public policy. Narita says his prime concern is how a few tycoons continue to dominate industries and that he only meant that the older generation must be phased out. He has softened his language since. He regrets not being more careful with his words. Regardless, he continues to say that the discussion is coming. He doesn't advocate its introduction, but predicts it will be more broadly discussed.